Hey, how's it going guys, and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the past week's developments in the world of monster taming. Now, this week we have an update to the beta build for Monster Sanctuary, which brings forth some of the changes for the 2.1 update that will include Relic Mode. We've got the release of the Lumen Tail demo, which is something we've been waiting for and has been really exciting. The Cubers Alpha is live. We've got the confirmation of a monster taming remaster, a brand new monster raising pet sim game that was recently just revealed, and more. So, as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Alright, so first things first, the Lumentail Kickstarter continues its campaign, with it now being roughly 170% funded as of the time this video is going live. Now that being said, the developers also released the demo which was promised for the campaign and I've got to say, it's really polished. I actually did do a video playing it and I think it does a really good job of introducing the premise of the game, its characters and mechanics while not overstaying its welcome. If you want to see more about the demo, you could check out this video linked below. The campaign only has a week left, so if you do want to back the game to get some extra backer stuff, definitely check it out linked below. I'm honestly even more excited for the game after playing the demo, which is definitely a good sign. If you're someone who's been involved in the beta testing for Monster Sanctuary, the first wave of changes for the 2.1 update, which will include the relic mode, new skills, tons of balancing adjustments, and more, is currently live for testing. I'm not 100% sure how one is to acquire the beta testing role in the Monster Sanctuary Discord. Uh, I personally have it, but I think it's just because I'm a content creator. I will be testing it out when it does actually fully release. We'll do sort of like a showcase video, but if you do join the Monster Sanctuary Discord, which I will leave linked below, I'm sure you could find some information on how to become a beta tester if not at the very least we know that the update is moving smoothly once it goes into beta it shouldn't be too long before it enters a public state if you want to learn more about what the relic mode update is our monster taming direct was actually where it was revealed which came out last month i'll leave that link below as well so you can check it out as i mentioned in last week's segment the cubers alpha officially went live on january 29th and if you don't already know cubers is a real-time combat monster taming game that is currently running its tests on the combat system via an alpha that allows you to play online with other players. The game will be free to play, utilizing only cosmetic microtransactions for monetization when it fully comes out, and will have a single player adventure mode added to the mix as well. I must stress that the combat feels very good, especially for an alpha game that has had no crowdfunding just yet, so I look forward to seeing more from the developers and seeing how the game progresses. That said, if you do want to get a taste for what to expect, again, linked below, I have a video showcasing the alpha where me and my friend Barry had an early look at it. The Cassette Beast developers put together a devlog showcasing some of the monsters within the game, one of which at the end is a brand new reveal. Now, this is also interesting because they gave a lot of information for each monster. So as per the usual, if you guys want me to go through this in its entirety in a separate video, let me know. There's a lot of nitty gritty that I can't get to in this segment, but I'm always down to read some Cassette Beast devlogs. They're always a ton of fun. You might remember a while back that Geneforge 1 Mutagen had a Kickstarter campaign and subsequent release, and basically what this game was was a remaster of the original CRPG Geneforge, which is a tactical game that allows you to summon and utilize various monsters in battle. That being said, and thanks to Cirque for bringing this to my attention, the second game in the Geneforge franchise is now receiving a remaster as well, and the Kickstarter Kickstarter early access page is now live if you'd like to follow the project and get notified when the campaign goes up. I tried out the original Gene Forge a while back and while it's not particularly my forte, I do think that it's a really cool series in general and if you're someone who's into those more classic computer RPG games, you'll probably really enjoy it. I'll leave a link to the campaign in the description should you want to check it out and obviously if you didn't know already, this footage you're seeing on screen is from the first remaster. Once we get footage from the second, that's what we'll be using moving forward. Next up, the YouTuber known as Chad Tonic recently revealed a new pet sim style monster raising game known as Poglings, which has a pretty cute aesthetic. I'm going to let what I'm assuming is their Kickstarter trailer that they showed off in their video play out here for you guys. soon is Poglings, a cute pet simulation, creature collecting, adventure game. Evolve, breed, and race 
cute, mysterious creatures known as poglings. Stake claim to your island, grow your nest, and establish yourself as the best pogling hatcher the Wild Vine Islands has ever seen. Poglings is slated to release for Steam and Nintendo Switch, with the possibility of other platforms in the future. But to make this game a success, I will need your help. There are three things I need you to do. First, click on the Kickstarter link in the description and click on Notify Me on Launch. This will email you as soon as the Kickstarter campaign goes live so you can have first pick of all the limited Kickstarter rewards before any of them run out. The Kickstarter will go live sometime this spring. The second thing is wishlisting Poglings on Steam. Click the Steam link in the description, which will take you to the Steam page, which, by the way, reveals a lot more details about the game if you're interested. But the main important thing is you need to click on this right here. Add to your wish list. Clicking on this will notify you when Poglings is released and if it ever goes on sale or gets discounted. It'll also help Poglings perform better on Steam in terms of getting discovered, which will help it a lot. And the third and last thing is to follow Poglings on social media to stay connected with us and to hear about all the game's updates. We are at Poglings on Twitter and on Instagram. You can also visit Poglings.com to see where the rest of our man's social media accounts are, but Twitter and Instagram will be primarily the two places we utilize the most. I'm sorry for asking so much of you, but seriously, if you do all of those things, it will help so much. Also, it's a bit unusual to have to say this, but just to get it out of the way, Poglings is in no way involved with crypto, NFT, or the blockchain in any way. Poglings will be a buy it, you own it premium game. I've also created a new company policy that allows monetization of Poglings game content on YouTube and other video sharing services, meaning you are free to make money from Let's Play videos and other kinds of content that features the game. All right, next up, we're going to head into the rapid fire news for the updates that don't require lengthy explanations. Firstly, we've got some gameplay footage for Pal World. The devs have been really active with these little clips recently, so that's nice to see. Gilmon can now be purchased as DLC if you missed pre orders for Digimon Survive. Volzerk, a game we covered recently on the channel, is now available on Steam and Mobile in Japanese with an English version pending. We've got some redesigns for Abomination, some new Gremlins for Gremlins Tail, a new Sentius for Sky Climbers, a new Monster for Disc Creatures World of Tamamon for Anode Heart, a new familiar for Fog World, a new evolution line for Zokai, and finally, last but not least, we've got a look at the in-game compendium for Kindred Fates. And there you go, guys, another solid week all around. Definitely a ton of interesting stuff to look forward to, and like I said, a lot of what was mentioned today will be linked below so you can check it out for yourself. If you do want to stay up to date on all things monster taming, definitely subscribe to my channel. We put out new videos every single day. You can also check out my Twitter and Discord linked below, and consider checking out my Patreon as well. We now have a special private Patreon Discord server where I upload teasers for new videos. I have some videos that I actually never released there. I have early uploads. If you're one of the god tier patrons, we do like exclusive streams. So definitely check out the Patreon if you're interested. Every little bit definitely helps to support the channel. But other than that, I did want to say special thanks to my patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, and Exodus. And with that, we'll see you again. Peace.